Hey, what's up everybody? And I'm here for another unboxing. This time is a box that was featured on my Patreon page under my personal vlog. So if you want to check out some of my personal vlogs, you can go to my Patreon page. And also if you want to have early access to any of my videos, and previews of things I will be posting on Money Cold. Uh, that perk is also offered on Patreon, among other things. This time is a different kind of unboxing. This is something that a friend of mine that's living in Japan has sent me, and I figured, oh, I why not? Let's like do an unboxing of it because some of the stuff is stuff that like I asked her to get me and I paid for, and other then there's some other things in there that she threw in there because I like them, and she's just super nice, and she's just like the greatest friend ever, and I hope she can like, you know, get me more stuff. Like Dodaroma or something, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, let's jump into this box. Now, I won't be showing you everything that's in here, because some of the stuff in here is quite personal, um, because like I said, it's from a friend. So there's like a letter in here, which I will not read, because it's not your business. So, uh, like I said, she did throw in some stuff that I was not expecting to see, so, and a lot of it I have, I, I don't think I've opened any of the stuff in here, except like reading the letter. So, first she got me a shirt. So, I'm feeling really lazy, so I don't feel like actually reading it, but here's like what it looks like in the package. Um, and yes, I can read it. I can read, like, I can read hiragana and I can read katakana. Um, I could not translate it for you. I'm so sorry. So, um, that's, uh, these shirts are the bane of my existence because I have to, like, fold them back. Oh, there's stuff. There's a, the paper inside. Uh, it says, uh, so here's the paper that was inside of the shirt, so I'm going to read it. Uh, welcome to Japan. This is a gift for all those visiting Japan. We promise it will be would be very useful during your stay in Japan. The pick talk function is printed on the front. There are times when pe when it is difficult to communicate if people do not understand your language and cause you trouble. That's when you pick one of the icons on your T-shirt and help you talk with Japanese easier. <laughs> oh, thank you. I really need this because I can't talk. I can't even talk in English. Uh, when you want to eat Japanese food, like sake or sushi or tempura, you pick the sushi tempura sake and put like where, where can I eat this? That's this panel. And they said, how about here? And they said, thank you. Let's communicate like this. We're picking at t-shirt icons. On the back is hashtag something or other. Oh, it says on the back, on the bottom, sorry. There are a lot of famous anime in Japan. Uh, hashtag boso, uh, which equals out of control, is a very famous scene from an anime which brought great impact. I'm assuming it's Neon Genesis Evangelion. I don't know. Just, just a hint, maybe. <laughs> uh, it says, and the kanji of it looks super cool. Just wear the t-shirt and go crazy posting bolso. Uh, try asking do you watch anime? What anime has the bolso scene? Yes. And start a conversation now and then it has like an AR like code, QR code. Yeah. So that's, that's cool. I will put it back in the shirt. So, oh, I see it on the back. Okay. So, yay, it's a black shirt. So that's all the different icons you can pick if you need help trying to navigate in Japan, apparently. Which, I don't know, I might wear this and be like, uh, do, doko, <laughs> uh, <laughs> doko police. I don't know. I'm sure I learned how loud is the police. Gosh. I am terrible. I'm just the worst. I, I took two semesters of Japanese and I'm still just the worst. I will talk like a child. 
And then in the back, there's the uh, hashtag Bolsol. So, hopefully, I, I think I said that right. So, I will put this back in the shirt. Alright, next in the box, I will save this later. Um, so, lately, I've just kind of fallen off the boat with during gray stuff because I've been like so like hardcore about like Lynch lately so I missed the pre-orders on Seed Japan for one of their best of albums and normally I don't do best of albums unless I don't already have like their previous albums like I did a Oz best of album um, unboxing and it's because I don't have any Oz albums um, I still don't have any Oz albums and I still would like to buy some, especially because they've disbanded so it might be a little bit harder to find stuff. Um, I, and I have like a Piro best of album. So uh, for Dern Grey, I own all their albums and I kind of like hesitated to get this because I was like, oh, but I already have all their albums. Why, why would I buy a best of album? I mean, I didn't buy their other best of album. But when I saw the uh, video, the bonus footage that's included with it, that made me want to get it. But I was too late on Sea Japan, so I think all of their copies were sold out, and you had to like buy it through a proxy. And I was gonna like try that out, but I asked my friend who got me this box if she could find me the. Um, DVD version of it so I could have the bonus footage and so that's the reason why I got the Vestige of Scratches so that's what that looks like I know there's a bit of a glare um, it's pretty thick thing so I'm assuming this is the disc and then that's the booklet right there so let's open that uh, one thing I like about, I've noticed a lot of the Dern Grey albums, I'm sure I have some other albums like this too, they have a flap for their plastic, and I like, of course, keeping them in the plastic because, I don't know, OCD like that. So here's the OB, which, that's the inside of it, which looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, just throw it. Uh, this is a really nice box. Ooh. Well, you get a first impression of how I feel about it. So this box is pretty thick. I like it. It's very good quality. Japan makes good quality, like, cases. I love that. Okay. So, as I guess, this is where all the discs are at. So, this is very thick. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. So that's, that's the inside. And... Oh, boy. I'm going to figure this out, I swear. Okay, so if you pull right here where the there's parts where you can, like, open it, so that'll be your other disc. So, so this is, uh, this is disc one. It says it right here in the corner. And then back here is disc two. And then over here we have disc three. And the silver disc. And then we will lift... And back here is disc four. So, so that's how that goes. I think this is a very unique case. I like this design. That's pretty cool. Um, so uh, disc one has a few of their older, has like their really, really older songs. I don't think they like mixed up like their, their time periods or anything. I think everything is like maybe chronological. I could be wrong. No, I think it's like just a mix of whatever. So, disc 1 through 3 are CDs, so all of those have music, and then the disc 4 is the bonus footage, which has a documentary of the of 20, documentary of during grade 20 years. Oh my gosh, it's been 20 years. Then they have, I can't think of what the song is, it's all in kanji, I'm sure if I heard it I would know what it is. They have that song, The Third Empire and Beautiful Dirt, Best Album Edition, so I'm guessing there's like a live performance or something. I think I've seen it. So that's what's on each disc. Hopefully you could read it. So then 
then we have this lovely thick booklet. That's really beautiful cover. Of course, they have the best of quality. So inside is, of course, the lyrics. You have lyrics. You have to have lyrics. I mean, if you don't know the lyrics by now, you're never going to learn them. <laughs> anyway, uh, before you jump into the lyrics, they have some interesting pictures. So you have these like kind of like fossilized cubes here that look pretty cool. And then you have, of course, the band itself. So here's Kyo, being Kyo. Uh, I'm guessing next is like Karu. Yeah, here's Karu. He looks good with short hair, but, but I, I'm glad he like went the short hair route for a while. And here's my majestic man, die. <laughs> here's Toshio, looking good as always. And precious Shinya. And then after that it has all of the songs in its disc order. And then it jumps of course into the lyrics. Apparently Isle's gonna be like the first like song and I'm just gonna be like rolling my eyes the first time I put this disc like in my car and be like, ugh, this song. Uh which Honestly, would have been my first Dern Grey song, but uh, the music was muted. So, anyway, let me just slip this back in its box. Uh, the good thing that I, the thing that I like a lot about uh, Dern Grey's DVDs um, is that they make their uh, their DVD region all. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can play it on your DVD player which is very inclusive. Um, I think all of their DVDs, at least the ones that I have, I think have all been like all region. Um, even before they came to like started going abroad, like touring abroad. So I really like that and I wish a lot of, I wish like every like Japanese artist like made all their DVDs like all region. Um, what I mean is, is that um, sometimes if you buy DVDs from like places like Seed Japan and stuff, well, especially I know on Seed Japan they'll put like this is region two, so if you live in these continents, it'll play on your DVD player. But if you don't, it will not play on your standard DVD player. You would have to like I don't know get an like override the region, or you could like. Um, I need, for me, I watch it like on my computer, and I just like change the uh, region code for my VLC player, so I'm able to like watch region code stuff, region like two stuff. But I find it more convenient if they just you know just do all regions because not everyone lives in Japan that likes them. So anyway, uh, moving on. So uh. She got me a rubber bla bracelet from Angelo Live, Reversal of Herodoxy. So that's what that looks like. So that's the name of the tour. And then of course the name of the band. It's Yellow Rubber Bracelet. I'm not even gonna like bother taking it out the plastic, but I mean this is the best way to look at a rubber bra bracelet, honestly. Uh, plus I have like tiny wrists, so no thanks. Uh, she also got me another rubber bracelet from a band called Daryl, so that's what that looks like. It's thicker, it's black, it has like a cat right there on the corner. Um, Daryl is, uh, hit by, uh, I from Death Gaze, the vocalist from Death Gaze, so he's the singer of Daryl. Maybe Death Gaze will come back, I don't know. I like both of them, they're pretty great. Um, couple, some things that I really wanted that I asked her to, like, get me, so I'm actually going to open these. Um, if you've seen my unboxing for the Chaotic Harmony thing, and I said that I have, like, a, a I'm starting to, like, really collect, like, checkies and muffler towels, so I asked her to get me some muffle to muffler towels from, uh, Nocturnal Bloodlust. She really, really loves Nocturnal Bloodlust, so... Um, I just kind of picked a couple. I didn't want to get like a hoodie or shirt or anything. I kind of wasn't like too into the design. 
So, and plus, I don't really need hoodies, and I really don't need t-shirts, and I try to, like, stop, but I'm, like, really awful. So anyway, so this is the first muffler towel. So it has the band's name on the bottom there, and then it has, like, an eye here. So this is what it looks like unfolded. So that's the uh, Nocturnal Bloodless towel. So, uh, eventually I'm gonna, like, find some, like, place to, like, put all, like, my muffler towels. And then I got another muffler towel from, uh, Nocturnal Bloodless. This one's a little different, so there's the band name. And let's open it up. I like these, I love these colors, so that's what that looks like. It has a school on it. It smells nice. <laughs> so that's what that towel looks like. So maybe one day I'll go see a nocturnal blah blah show with her. A noctoboo. The noctoboo. <laughs> show with uh, her one day. Uh, so the last thing I asked her to get me was checkies. <laughs> uh, I've already looked at these. These were like, like, uh, I already looked at these and unfortunately my favorite is not in this batch, but it's okay because I feel like I will probably buy some more like nocturnal, like bloodless, like checkies from someone else or like get some more from her. Um, I know she will not give up Hero. I know that will never happen. So I'll probably get Hero checkies from somewhere else. Because I, I know she cannot part with her precious Hero. So that's fine by me. So, um, I'm still trying to get, like, everyone's name straight. So it, it takes me a little bit of time because I have to, like, take out so much stuff, like, rolling around in my head. So I'm not even going to say members' names. If you're a Nocturnal Bloodless fan, you'll know who they are, so I'm just going to, like, hold them up. Um, otherwise, because I don't want to, like, make a fool of myself. And I could have just looked them up, like, earlier, like, who they are. Like, if I, like, see them on Instagram, I know, like, oh yeah, that's that person. So, let's start. I'm just going to start showing you checking. So, here's one. <laughs> this one's really nice, cute, casual. Here's another one of him. I think I put all of the same person together. Yeah, I put all of the same person together, or she did. Well, here's another one. That neck is very thick, and I'm talking about the guitar. <laughs> and here's a different member. It's precious, very beautiful, beautiful. Check out the shoulder action, though. Here's another one. And this one's cute too. It's like antlers. And then the last one, which kind of looks like he's avoiding the camera. I don't know what's going on there. So that's that's all my uh, checkies that she sent me. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine checkies. So nine beautiful checkies. I do have four checkies I bought from somebody else of my favorite person, which is uh, Casque. Uh, I'm probably saying his name wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. So, but I would like to get some of like the other two members as well. So like I'll have like all of them. Maybe if they come to America and they're selling checkies, I will buy a bunch of them. But anyway, so that is all the stuff that she sent me. See, empty box done. And I'm really grateful to have such an amazing, like, kind, thoughtful friend that, like, remembers, like, other bands that I like, too. Even though I would love to have Lamp Down Aroma stuff, that would be great. So, uh, yeah. Thank you so much to that friend. I'm not going to say who what your name is, but you know who you are. Thank you so much. I love you very, very much. I've already expressed my gratitude when I got the box, like, months ago. And I know you were kind of, like, a little embarrassed when I mentioned that I was going to do an unboxing of the stuff that you got. But I'm very grateful to have such 
great, thoughtful friend. So thank you so much for, you know, buying me all these Nocturnal Bloodlust items that I wanted. And hopefully we can continue to exchange money and goods for, you know, Nocturnal, like, like Noctibura. So, and uh, thank you for the extra stuff as well. And also the Darren Gray uh, album that I wanted. Um, thank you so much for that. Um, so anyway, that's it for this unboxing. If you would like to see more unboxings and you love this video, hit that like button and also subscribe for more videos like this and other stuff that I do. If you want early access to my videos and blog posts on Muddy Cult, you can subscribe to Patreon and get all the amazing awards that I offer there. And I will see you guys next time in another video. Peace.